Hi gang, Jeff McAleer here, and today I'm taking a look at the second game in the City State of Tempest line from AEG, and it's Jeff Tidball's Mercante. The first game in the series, Dominere, pitted the players in trying to control the City of Tempest through the various different personalities and characters in the city. This second game, Mercante, involves economic control of the city-state. And it's for three to five players, ages 12 and up. It should be played in about an hour or so. That said, let's take a look to see what's in the box. And I see we've got a rule book very similar in dimensions to the Dominary rule book. And once again, it appears that it starts off with a bit of fiction to set the scene. Explaining all the different components. It appears that it's lavishly illustrated as well. And just flipping through, it appears that it is about 22 pages of rules. We also have what appears to be various different tokens for the different kinds of merchandise or trading goods, I guess we would say, like grain, timber, ore, gold. And it looks like there's also some different counters as well on these different counter sheets. Looks like this is just a duplicate. And I see we have another appearance of the coins that we had in Dominere. Then it looks like we have player boards depending on the number of players in the game. So this is for three players, for four players, and for five players. It appears that each of the players also gets one of these manifest boards. And it looks as if the sequence of play is marked on these as well. So they're utilized for reference. And it looks like each turn you have an upkeep, shipment auction, collecting agents, and assigning agents. So I'm going to take a guess that we have five of those. Well, I see three of them. And more counters as well, along with some additional silver coins. And looks like another board too. With luxuries, raw materials, precious metals, foodstuffs. Got a bag of different wooden markers. And two decks of cards. So we'll take a look to see what these decks are. So it appears that this larger deck well, might be a few decks of cards. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, and I see this looks like these decks are broken by possibly value or rarity. So let's see what these are. Ah, it appears that these are contract cards. So I'm going to take a guess that each of the players receives a contract each turn and it's possible that they need to be able to 
collect these various different trade goods in order to collect the money on each contract card. Of course, that's just a stab. I haven't taken a look at the rules. And of course, I will be reviewing Mercante in the very near future. Looks like there's different merchant houses. And it appears that each of the houses gets a special ability. Now let's see what this final deck is. It looks like another more merchant houses as well. And it looks like these are shipment cards. So this must, taking a wild stab, maybe these are the various trade goods that arrive that you maybe possibly bid on them. There you have what's in the box for Mercante from AEG. And as I mentioned, there will be a review of the game in the near future. And until then, be sure to swing over to thegaminggang.com for all the latest in news, reviews, and opinion in regards to the tabletop gaming world and a whole lot more. Once again, I'm Jeff McAleer. Thanks for joining me.